So, what's poppin'? It's Dope Boy, aka Petty Kruger, and I'm here to do um, a little gaming setup vid, and I'm also gonna do a sneak ahead too. Some of y'all are probably wondering or thinking, damn, that's a big ass burrito. You would be incorrect. This is a big ass half of a burrito. Don't worry, the other half won't be in the giveaway. I'm gonna eat that later. The fat, not big boned, thick, none of that. Some of y'all are fat too. I mean, I'm just here to tell the truth. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. We'll just eat that too. With that, let's get to this bit. Here you're looking at my little gaming setup here. This is a 70 inch smart, smart TV. I tried to get two of these on the wall. That wasn't possible, so I have my 46 inch smart TV up there. That one is mainly used for uh, another cable outlet. So if I'm playing the game, I can watch football, you know, whatever sports is on up there. Also, it is my computer monitor. You know, I don't do much on my PC, but browse, stuff like that. This TV here is used for my Xbox One and my PS4. My PS4, I only play exclusives on. Uh, once next year starts to roll around, I'm going to cop the 4K TV and get ready for the Xbox Scorpio. And once the Scorpio drops, I'll throw this Xbox One in the closet along where some of your favorite male uploaders are. Uh, we already got like Xbox Ones in every room, so you know what I mean, I'll just put that up there. Uh, on Xbox One, I have almost like 300 games, PS4 maybe 10 maybe, Xbox 360, I have about 800. Uh, all my games for Xbox One are digital. Um, here, I have my Astro A50s. And then here, I have my Astro A40s, which have, let's see if I can get this right, has me on it on one side. And then, come on, has my wife on the other side. I also have ear tags with my kids, stuff like that. Um, and that's it. Let's move on to the sneakers. First up, we have the band Jordan 1s. Um, these came out September 3rd. I copped them for 180. Uh, reason why they're called the band is because in 1985, the NBA banned Jordan sneaker because sneakers had to match the jersey of your team and all players had to have uniform sneakers. At the time, this was considered a flashy sneaker and the NBA banned the sneaker and charged Jordan $5,000 every time he wore them in the game. Now, Nike was more than happy to go ahead and foot the bill for that. Only thing is, this wasn't the exact sneaker that was banned. At that time, Jordan was wearing the Air Ships, um, which looks similar to this, but it and also did feature his name on it, but it wasn't this exact shoe. Jordan didn't first wear this shoe until the All NBA All-Star of 1985 in the dunk contest. So that's a little history about it. Here we got the red, the black. They're unlaced because the throwback at that point in time, sneakers didn't come laced. So comes with red, white laces, as you can see, and has the OG Nike Air on them. The sneakers that people want when they're talking about Jordan 1s, they want OGs that say Nike Air on them. The ones that got the Jumpman on the tongue, those come a dime a dozen. These are actually what people really want. Now, the sneakers that I'm going to be showing you are, of course, sneakers I've never wore and probably won't wear for several months until about summer, summertime. Let's get to the next sneaker. This is a Foam Posit Pro. A little different than a regular Foam Posit, only by that this isn't a Penny Hardaway shoe, no one cent, and you will see that we have the Nike swoosh sign on it. These are called the Dr. Dooms. 
Yes, as in the comic book, Doctor Doom. Uh, they came out November 23rd for 250. The reason why these are called the Doctor Dooms is because when these first released in 2006, Nike released them within like a pack that had the Fantastic Fours. Um, so one sneaker was clear for the Invisible Woman. Then you had the Thing sneaker and, you know, Mr. Fantastic and so forth. This one dropped and was to represent Dr. Doom. I think at that point in time they did like a black and white version or something like that mock-up. I just call them the Venoms because Dr. Doom is metal and green. So, I call them the Venoms. This is the True Blue 88 OGs. These dropped November 25th, and I paid $240 for them. These first appeared in, I believe, 2011, and uh, at that point in time, had the Jumpman on the back. So these are the 88 OGs because it harkens back to when the Jordan 3 first released in 1988 had the Nike Air on the back. So we got white tumbled leather, hints of true blue and red. Here we're looking at the top three Jordan 1s. These came out November 28th. I paid about 180 for them. The reason why they're called the top threes is because they combine the top three colorways of the Jordan 1s, at least the top three that all the sneakerheads and most people want. You have your royal color, which is the black and the blue. You have your bread right here. There's more royal. And then you have your Chicago colorway, which is, you know, the black, red, and white. Now they're Mitch Match. That's how they come. Got your white here, your black. Like I said, there's the inside of this. Shows the royal. This shows the bread. There's the Chicago. Got that. There's the bottom. Also comes with three different color laces. They're unlaced to, you know, as I said, throw back to when they became when they came unlaced when you bought sneakers. And you have your black laces here top threes. We're looking at the OG nines. Um, this came out December 3rd, copped them for about 210. You know, all this, the, the numbers is after tax. Um, originally they're 190. So each sneaker is almost like $20 a tax. Like I said, 210. Uh, these first came out in like 93, 94, right around when Jordan first retired from the game. Uh, it features a Nike Air sign on the inside of the sneaker. That's why they say OG. Nike is also calling these the Space Jam 9s because he did wear these in the movie Space Jam. But any true sneakerhead knows that the Space Jams are the Jordan 11s. Either way. Now this is the Jordan 11 Space Jam. The real Space Jams. These dropped December 10th. Copped them for $240. When these first came out, um, actually, Jordan first wore these 1995 in the All Star game. Uh, they look pretty much like this, except for on the back, it then it had 23. Um, 45 is the number when he first came back that he was wearing. Nike was going to put the 45, then Jordan decided to go back to the 23. So they put the 23 on there. These wasn't first released for sale until the year 2000. When they came out, they had the 23 on the back, but featured a blue Jumpman and so forth. And they were in the movie Space Jam. Later, they came out in 2009, featured a lower cut of the patent leather, the 23 and the blue. These ones, are what Jordan should have had on. Actually, these are what should have released in the year 2000 and so forth. Four or five on the back. You have your Concord Grape. 
icy sole, Concord on the back, a high cut of patent leather, which most of them now have a lower cut, the Space Jams. And that's it, at least that I'm going to show for right now. Maybe I'll do some more next year.